Hi, in this tutorial video, I'm going to show you on how we're going to view the cross-sectional of this 3D block. Okay, previously we have seen how does the 2D cross-sectional look like. Okay, when we're going to do the same thing for the 3D block. Okay, we're going to cut this particular object, then we're going to see the hidden part. Okay. It will be easier for us to view the cross section and get more information about the object okay to do so we're going to use the command slice okay choose the command slice click on it or you can use the command from here by type the slides then click on the particular object enter then choose number three for three point enter okay let's say i want to cut from this point midpoint until this midpoint here okay then i want to bring it down because i want to see what happened inside the counter ball then to particular click on it then i'm going to enter b to keep both side of the block and enter as you can see we can see the two distinguished block here okay let's say i want to move this particular part Okay, so that I can see the cross section of the inner part of this block. What I have to do now, I have to move this block or I can delete this block. I can choose this block and I can delete it. Okay. Then you can view what inside here, the cross section part. Okay. This is uh, the cross section on the Y and Z plane. Okay. Let me undo. Okay, and show you what going to happen if we cut this object to view inside here okay on the x and y plane and x and y plane i'm going to cut through here okay what well, i'm going to see what happened here okay how how am i going to do that same choose the command slice okay click on the object enter then choose three and enter then define the cutting point or cutting plane this is the one the second will be here where is it in the circle and third will be here the front here click on it then enter b and enter as you can see here the slice command already break this object into two different sections now you can view the cross section of this block okay by choose this block and delete it yes there you go okay in 2d view okay you can change to 2d view okay here you go okay you're going to have one plane the second plane here the third plane here okay or you can view from the 2d wireframe okay this is there uh, where the hollow or circle located and here is so the counter bar okay this is a very inf uh, very useful information us okay so that we can do the cross-sectional view in much better efficient way okay let me undo okay okay where else we want to cut this object let's say i want to cut this object particularly here only at this plane only okay here in this part okay how am i going to do that okay same again let me choose the slice command okay then choose the particular object that we want to cut okay now as i mentioned before okay we want to cut here only in this particular area only it's not a symmetry but to view what inside here okay to do so let me choose the center point of this object okay then bring it here so that i can have the center point one then bring it down to perpendicularly then the third point will be here perpendicular to the line then I'm going to enter B to keep both object that I cut and that I want to retain. Enter. Okay. There you go. You have three. You have two different objects here. Okay. If I if I want to view what inside here, so I can choose this object. I can delete it. There you go. You have you have all the information there. Okay. Okay. Let me control Z. So that I have the object back. Okay, let's say uh, I do back the cross section for the 
uh, Y and Z plane and we hash the area where the knife or the saw that we used to cut the object and touch the object okay that particular object going to be scratched by using command hatch okay choose the slice command choose the object and enter then choose number three to define three different point and i want to cut on the center here so i bring it to the end point here until the other end point here where it's going to be the midpoint then i bring it down here perpendicular to that line and you can see the perpendicular sign and uh, enter b to keep both and enter there you go as you can see here this object is not perpendicular okay what you can do control z first okay redo uh, redo the size uh, command there you go okay now what i'm going to do i want to remove this object here so I can bring it to the front view here. Okay, you can see this is the view for the 2D, and I'm going to use the command hatch. Okay, add pick points. Okay, this is the point here, this area, this area, this area, and this area where I use the knife to cut this object, and the knife going to touch the particular box wherever they are hollow the knife or the saw not going to touch the not going to touch it okay and enter and click okay as you can see nothing happened here because in 3d i think the hash moved to back let me try to rotate this object here there you go the hash at the back there we have to bring it front to make it easy i'm going to do 2d wireframe okay i'm going to use command move select the object that i want to move this one this one this one and this one enter then choose a particular reference point okay then bring to the reference point here there you go okay here you can see here okay now i change back to conceptual view okay this is where the knife that i use the cut to cut the object touch the object okay it's going to be hatch okay Okay, I hope this video is very useful for you. Thank you for watching.